Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today's video is going to be a little different but I think it's going to be a great video because we're going to be talking about all kinds of wreath forms. What are the best uses for the wreath forms? Meaning is it best for florals? Is it best for deco mesh? That kind of stuff. I think it's going to be a nice reference video in case you're looking for a specific wreath what it's called so you can find it online before we get started though i wanted to mention that i want to know what type of wreath form you have not used before because there are those standards you know but we are going to be talking about some fun ones and which one you would love to try so let me know in the comments below which wreath form you are looking forward to trying that you haven't tried before without further ado let's get started Let's start with pencil wreaths. Pencil wreaths are basically flat wreaths and I consider them to be one of the hardest wreaths to work with if you're working with deco mesh because when you start putting something poofy like deco mesh into this gorgeous gorgeous design you're going to lose the design itself. There are other ways to decorate. Here's a snowman one but I did want to mention one thing. When pencil wreaths are double for example here on top at the bottom and then in the wings this is where you can incorporate a little bit of deco mesh maybe you want to wrap it maybe you want to do little mini bubbles definitely we can get creative with them the wreath forms themselves are the prettiest out of all the wreath forms it might be a little challenge to work with but at the end of the day they do come out super adorable the bicycle wheel wreath either comes in a flat shape kind of like a pencil wreath or it does come in a 3d because it's a bicycle wheel you literally can take a bicycle wheel and make a wreath out of it this wreath form is super super underrated because you can do a lot with this you can add florals and have a floral wreath you can add deco mesh you can make it into a centerpiece like this one right here or you can make something absolutely gorgeous and make a flower i wanted to show you in the back that this really is a bicycle wheel as you can tell i spray painted white and then just added some deco mesh on it the video for this wreath is in the description box below the fact that you can make something this gorgeous with a bicycle wheel is why i call it one of the most underrated wreath forms next we have the breast wreath rings these are usually metal they are made to be strong so do pay attention where they are soldered together to make sure you have a good quality ring mostly people decorate them with some gorgeous greenery with some floral picks you could put the picks at the top in a little bow or at the bottom sometimes people add a floral piece of foam at the bottom wire it in and push in flowers and then in the middle you can put either more flowers or a bow the possibilities are definitely endless on these rings the most common wreath forms out of all wreath form is this basic wire wreath form they come in many sizes of seen as large as 40 inches they probably have them bigger too but these are your standard metal wreath forms the one i'm showing you here is 14 inch but i also wanted to show you the 8 inch these 8 inch wreath forms are tiny but mighty because people use them in many ways they'll add some netting to the bottom and make those gorgeous flower wreaths and i like using them for centerpieces these make amazing centerpieces for your gatherings if you have a party and need centerpieces these are amazing because when you add the poof everywhere candles that are about four inches in width three inches in width go perfectly right inside i like these as small wreaths but they make amazing centerpieces some other example of wire wreath forms are all your different holiday wire wreath forms like this star i got a candy cane a shamrock or even this infinity love wreath form as you're shopping for wreath forms you might run into a wreath form that's called a work wreath form a work wreath form is any wreath form that has the pipe cleaners already attached and they're going to charge you at least double that the pipe cleaners are attached that's why i always show you how to attach the pipe cleaners because you're going to save a lot of money by attaching your own pipe cleaners so the only difference with a regular wreath form and work wreath form is the pipe cleaners are already attached 
This gorgeous and long wreath was made using a rail wreath form. Yes, it's kind of a pencil wreath form because it's flat. It comes in many sizes, usually four to six, and it does come in a working rail wreath, which means it already has the pipe cleaners attached. And as you can see, it's easy to cover with some felt in the back because it's basically a big rectangle. The rail wreath form can either be used to make these huge long beautiful wreaths or swags or you can use it to make a beautiful centerpiece for your kitchen a dining room table or your coffee table these wreaths are actually called 3d wreath forms or kd wreath forms and they are spheres they can be made into centerpieces or they can come half for example, this one is halved. The way the center is made, it's halved. So it's meant to go against the wall just like this. Because the pipe cleaners are already on, this is called a working half KD wreath. On the outer ring, it'll have something to hold the inner rings together. And then you just open them up by twisting them. This wreath also comes with two metal rings. It's more of like a foil. And then you put one on top, one at the bottom, and it'll sit in place. The one I have here is 10 inch and the bigger one is 14 inch. And I wanted to show you a centerpiece I made for spring Easter using the 10 inch one. It has little bunnies. I put it on a little stand. I think this is adorable and it makes a beautiful decor piece. Foam rings come in many sizes, but they come in two basic shapes. The first one is basically a tube. It's rounded off, going all the way around. This wreath is flat on top and flat on all the sides. Wreath boards are exactly what the name indicates. It's a board that you can make into a wreath. They can be made out of wood, out of plastic. They can have different type of cutouts like this one right here or this one right here. There are different shapes, different styles. Since a wreath is considered anything you can decorate your wall or your door with, something like this is definitely considered a wreath board. Wooden boards can be decorated with either floral or deco mesh, depending on what kind of board you are using. The wooden bead wreaths are so much fun and they come in different colors, different size beads. If you need to paint these wreaths in a specific color, definitely choose the raw wood bead wreath. This one is the best to paint. I can definitely see someone grabbing this wreath form, adding a gorgeous ribbon bow, having the tails hang down, and it's a two minute wreath. These are definitely the quickest and easiest wreath forms to work with. Wooden wreath rings come in different sizes and different wood. For example, these rings are made out of bamboo. They come in a set of two at the Dollar Tree and usually used for florals. You can tie them together and make a wreath and have some florals coming down or you can separate them. You could put fabric over them. There's just so many ways you can use these and the nice thing about it is they have a nice edge, about half an inch, that if you are using something like fabric you have a room to actually fold it over and hot glue in the back these are so much fun as you can see they are wider right here you can paint them you could put fabric or felt over them you can definitely add florals to them felt flowers or something like that or wooden those wooden dry flowers would look really nice too this floral wreath is meant to be a floral wreath, but you can definitely add deco mesh to it. You have little holes. You can put pipe cleaners through that and make a gorgeous wreath. And by the way, I got this one for 50 cents. You can find these on sale. So definitely keep your eye out when you go to your craft stores because I'm going to start using them and making some really cute wreaths with these very soon. Now let's talk grapevine wreaths. These are so beautiful and natural. They are mostly made for florals because you can just put a floral right in between all of the little vines and it'll stay beautifully in place. Look at that. I'm going to put some white ones in between. We're not making a wreath, but as you can see, you can definitely do what you want with this. Add some greenery. Always work from outside in. So I would start with the biggest greenery first and then 
work my way in. You can make anything you want and these are beautiful with some ribbon in between. For any holiday, any event, these are so much fun to do. The bamboo wreath is made out of such gorgeous natural wood that you want to use it with some greenery. I did get creative one time and made a wreath like this. That was fun. But mostly this wreath is used for florals. Overall, this is a beautiful natural wreath. A willow wreath comes in different sizes, as you can see right here, and it's basically braided wood, easy to paint. These wreaths are really, really strong, but at the same time, look how elegant and beautiful they are. Another organic wreath is a straw wreath. I usually keep it covered in plastic. Some uses for it, you can definitely wrap fabric around, put some florals on there, but you can also use it where you have to poke something through it. For fabric wreaths, all you have to do is grab a piece of fabric that's about three to four inches on each side and in the middle you use a pencil and you just stick it right into the wreath form and you do that going all the way around. This is another wreath that you don't see a lot but it does have many nice uses. Some people refer to this wreath as a spruce wreath or an evergreen wreath. I think evergreen is basically any type of greenery, but spruce wreath usually means this type of kind of uh, Christmas wreath form. This one is from the Dollar Tree, so as you can see, it's a little bit on the sparse side. This one, I added some greenery, some ribbon, some little ornaments, and I made a beautiful Christmas wreath. My favorite way of using this particular Dollar Tree spruce wreath is actually use deco mesh. All of this is not going to show. What's going to show is your gorgeous deco mesh. You just attach it throughout the wreath, put in some ribbon bundles, and you have a gorgeous wreath. So many, many ways to use this wreath form. Let's talk yardstick or paint stick wreaths. And don't make fun of me that I have an old, old yardstick. I need to go stock up on my yardsticks to make centerpieces, to make beautiful swag, either this one or that one. The stir sticks I like to use are the five gallon stir sticks from your local hardware store that you can sometimes get for free. If not, they are very, very cheap. And out of this stir stick, you can make a swag like this. Just to show you, there is the stir stick. Yes, a wreath this big using deco mesh and some greenery, a sign from the Dollar Tree. I made this gorgeous nautical wreath using a stir stick. These gorgeous wire mesh wreath forms are made out of coated wire and I think they're absolutely gorgeous. They can either be used for greenery and definitely can be used with mesh. A teardrop wreath swag can be either made out of spruce or metal. My own version of this is I use a Christmas tree from the Dollar Tree. If you put it upside down, open everything up and you basically have a teardrop spruce tree. Here's one where I used iridescent Christmas tree and made this beautiful teardrop swag wreath. It turned out beautiful and this goes to show that you don't need to spend a lot of money to make gorgeous, gorgeous wreaths. Did you know there were so many types of different wreath forms? I know, it's a lot, right? Well, in the comments below, don't forget to let me know which wreath form you would like to try next that you have not tried before. And of course, thank you so much for being with me. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you would like to see wreath tutorials, more informative videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell button. And of course, if you're interested in some wreath tutorials, Louie and I have prepared two videos for you right here. You're just the sweetest, Louie. So thank you so much for being with us, and we will see you in our next video. Louie, did you want to give everyone a kiss? Mwah! Mwah! You're the sweetest. You're just the sweetest. Bye, guys.